I had to invent a guy that didn't exist. I had to invent a guy that can take any pain, any suffering, any kind of judgment, be called nigger, be called whatever the fuck in the world, and be able to stand in the fucking room and say, go fuck yourself. You want to break my motherfucking legs? So be it. I will reverse that pain and suffering, and I will take your soul. I was that guy who ran away from absolutely everything that I got in front of me. And um, so I had to man up. And I said, the first thing I gotta start doing is facing every fucking fear I have. No matter what the fuck it is, man. And I, you can help yourself get through the times that suck. Real life. This is real life. 90% of your life will suck. 10% will be fucking happy. You may be lucky guy and have a lot of fucking money, have a great ass woman, all this shit. Trust me. One on one with that fucking guy, he's missing something. His life still sucks because he hasn't faced something that bothered him his whole fucking life. Something is still eating that motherfucker up. Almost everybody. Everybody. Eating you the fuck up. But maybe you found a good way, how I did growing up, on how to ignore that voice that's saying, you ain't facing some shit. I was going in the water. So I, I was terrified of it. I mean, I can't even express. Have you ever had a big fear? And I know a lot of fighters have fears and stuff like that, but they get over them. But a lot of us have these fears that you just don't want to fucking face. And um, I have a lot of them. I had a lot of them. When I'm afraid of something is telling me you must do this that. thing. You must do that. Yeah. You have to go that way. And <clears throat> most of us don't understand that mentality. We go left and we wonder why we haven't fulfilled something in our lives. You got to start diving into those things that you are afraid of. You don't gain confidence by going to the spot that makes you feel good. That's what gives me confidence is facing these things, overcoming them. And maybe not overcoming them every day, but facing them and facing them and facing them pretty soon like this. You know what, man? This is where it's at. People who are hearing this shit, they, they will never really understand and grasp when you face these things and so many things, how they keep you up and haunt you at night. I will reverse that pain and suffering and I will take your soul. You must break the soul of whatever the fuck is in front of you. That's what I realized. I was never breaking the soul of anything in front of me. You have to have the will, the heart, the courage to go that distance when you're exactly jacked up. You have nothing left to give and give more. If you keep on attacking something, nothing wants to stand in front of anything that is relentless. Nothing. And you have to first be uncomfortable with how you feel about yourself. With that voice that a lot of us like to run away from, we all have it. We all have that voice that say, hey man, you know, you're, you're kind of wimping out right now. You're kind of being a little punk right now. But a lot of us say, okay, that's okay. It's okay to tell these little white lies to ourselves. So we first have to face the real you. The real me is David Goggins. The real me is a guy looking at you right now saying, I don't want to fucking be on this show right now because I used to stutter as a kid. And I'm afraid of that. I'm afraid that here in a second, I'm going to start fucking stammering and stuttering. And the whole world is going to know that I have all these issues. But that's when I see right now, okay, Goggins, you got to go on this fucking show. That's Goggins. Goggins is saying, okay, David Goggins, you're a punk. Life made you this way. We can't live like this. We can't live in fear. We can't live in judgment. We can't be afraid of what the fuck people right now are looking at me saying about me. We cannot be afraid of that. That's Goggins. Goggins saying, fuck all of you who don't like me, who don't want to. And that person then comes in. But you have to be David Goggins and say, man, I'm afraid of this. I'm fucked up here. Life made me this way here. I stutter. I, I have these issues with, with, with uh, reading and writing and and I'm, I'm, I'm fat and I'm insecure. No one's gonna fucking come to help me. It's, it's fucking me against me, period. This is a race that you run completely alone. You can build that total accountability in oneself. And it's not about being selfish. I'm trying to create a better me. So hopefully people who are hearing this are taking it the right way can say, I can run a mile. It ain't about running 205 fucking miles, doing fourth, being a city. It ain't about all that shit. Shit doesn't matter. I want you to see how fucking far you can go because we're all fucking suffering in this world. We're all hurting. And I try to take away all titles you want to give me and let you know that I did not come from that shit. That's why I have to be so authentic and so real about my own insecurities, my own faults, my, just being a fucked up person. 
I'm, I'm, I'm not the best at anything. I'm not, I'm not gifted. I'm just driven. And I started finding things that was comfortable. And the more things I found comfortable, the more uncomfortable my mind was. You start putting yourself in situations that suck, you'll find yourself. Yeah. You'll find it real quick. You know what I'm thinking about right now? I gotta fucking wake up tomorrow and do the same shit again. I gotta leave this fucking interview and go stretch out for two and a half hours. I hate that shit. Mm. It's not in that comfort zone. It's in the discomfort zone is where my confidence is getting built. Mm. I'm going to be gone 39 hours right. running on a one-mile track. Who the fuck? I'm not crazy, man. That shit sucks. <laughs> I mean, you know, people put me in this category of, you must be some crazy guy who loves right. it. No, man. No, that's why I do it, though. That's the only way to callous your fucking brain, man. It's the only way to get hard in life. People Every day you have to do this shit. Because why? When you stop doing it, you don't just maintain it. If you stop shooting a gun... You're not going to be a great shot if you pick a gun up a year from now. That's the person who's gained knowledge. You gain knowledge through suffering. And on the other end of suffering is a world that very few, very few have ever seen. It's a beautiful world because that's where you find yourself. But I'd be damned if you ever see me looking like shit. Triple down on your fucking weaknesses. Yeah. Find out something about yourself. You already know the, the good shit. You already know the happy shit. Right. I say what if a lot. It sounds corny and it sounds weak, but it's true. I was like, man, what story would it be if my fucking fat, dumb, lying to be friends with people, insecure ass can overcome this shit? And that what if mentality, like that, that, that dreamer mentality just would always fuel me. It would just fuel me, man. What if I can be, what if I can be a SEAL, man? What if I can go from running a quarter of a fucking mile, now I, now I run 205 miles. What, what, what if I can go, what, just what if I can go, and, and, and what if, how would that feel? So it became from being defeated to like, man, all right, motherfucker, maybe, you know, maybe tomorrow we can go .75. No one would do this shit. No one would do this shit. You're the best motherfucker around. You're the best motherfucker ever live. And I had to, I just kept fueling me with the, with, with the right kind of message that I needed to hear that I was never telling myself. And through time, it became reality. I failed, I go back to scratch. I use some positive motivation. I have like one day where I'm like fucking defeated. But I started realizing this is part of the process. This is part of the journey. I had to realize this is part of my process versus just saying, like I used to, I'm just not good enough. If I'm not good enough, we always say that shit. I'm just not good enough and then we try something else. I'm gonna fucking make myself good enough. I know what's on the back end of fucking quitting. It's a lifetime of thinking about why the fuck did I do that? And I ain't fucking doing that no more. Like, man, all right, motherfucker, maybe, you know, maybe tomorrow we can go 0. 0.75. You know, it just became this different mindset. I turned negatives into positives. So I would, I would take it like, who, who would even think about doing this? So I would sit on my couch saying, who at 297, who can't fucking swim that great, who's scared of the fucking water, would have the fucking balls? Who had the balls to fucking man up, quit a job, and go? and just put everything on himself. So it's how I started talking to myself and putting myself in a whole different category and that would fuel me the next day and I just kept using that as fuel and fuel. No one would do this shit. No one would do this shit. You're the baddest motherfucker around. You're the baddest motherfucker ever live. And I, had to, I just kept fueling me with the, with, with the right kind of message that I needed to hear that I was never telling myself. And through time, it became reality. What if you can surpass all of these motherfuckers? We have everybody who was fucking way up here, started up here, and you had, you started with no legs. You had to grow fucking legs to even start walking, and then crawling, and then running, and then you start passing people with all this given to them. I had to use all this negative shit that was making me weak and horrible as a person. I had to use this as the power that now fueled me. I had to flip it on its head and say, hold up. This might be exactly what I need. The darkness is exactly what I need. It's how you look at your situation. How are you gonna feel, man, when you accomplish this goal coming from that shit? Just sack it up and fail and fail and fail until I succeed. 
and I want to be in my fucking pine box, and I believe your spirit lives forever. It has to. It's too fucking powerful. No way in hell that thing just dies when you die. I want to be able to look back on my life when I'm all dead and be so fucking proud of myself forever. This is all temporary shit to me. I want to be forever proud of who I was as a man and change who I used to be. The liar, the insecure guy, the guy who can, whatever. I want to be proud. When I, if I die now, if I die at 80, if I die at 90, 100, I want to look at myself and say, I'm proud of myself. Don't, my biggest fear in life is if there is a final resting place in this world and there's a final judgment and you talk to something much bigger than you. I don't want to sit down and have a conversation with someone with something that says, you're in heaven, this is what you should have been on earth. And are you really in heaven now or are you in hell? Mm. Thinking about how much I left on the table for fear, for not willing to go over the wall and over the next wall and over the next wall. So in my mind, I believe that. And God knows all. At least I believe that. I want God to be up there right now as we're speaking, writing stuff down, saying, my God, he exceeded even my wow. expectations.